really come really um, sensitive to what I'm listening to. Just the tools that I'm using, the tools I'm listening on, the monitors I'm listening on. I had just upgraded my monitors um, to an $8,000 budget monitor and um, damn they the same monitor that um, category 4 label mixers that I inspire to be are using. So it's just like wow now that I'm using the same tool that they're using to listen through um, and I'm listening pretty much damn they almost as carefully as they are. Um, I realized I was able to put out some products that literally they're gonna be heard <laughs> they're gonna be heard pretty soon i'm like one of the first or the few engineers of my generation to grow up not using a tape machine to record so that's a different era in itself and then the way we have to engineer that mix using a mouse and keyboard is a different era itself and a lot of this was just throughout my own trial and error and just literally trying to see how am I going to get my next mix to sound better than my last mix. That The Ashby mix technically we've noticed is something that's been known for vocal clarity, um, vocal in your face bigness and just mm -hmm. something that stays up to date with the times and um, and stays really competitive. Just, you gotta stay focused on what it is you had planned before getting the success. So when you do get the success, you just keep that tunnel vision and then you'll literally be um, on and popping without even trying. If it doesn't move me, it's pretty much not really gonna move most of the people. I would assume that that type of style of song is supposed to target. Little things I've learned to pick up on along the way that just makes the process a little bit more um, well-rounded. Because a lot of the people that come here is really talented and then there's a lot of a and and um, multi-platinum in industry producers that um, pay attention to who's coming here because there's a lot of talent. So I wanna expand to a spot where I'll have studio A, B, and C. This would typically be around the size of Studio B. Um, so very excited to be working with people like Anthony XI, um, Exit 21. I'm so excited to be a part of um, mixing this project for a uh, newly signed artist named uh, Jason Echo as well. It was great to just be assigned to that project so I can like give him that blessing on what a commercial record and EP should sound like. I feel like it's about time now that the, the general public um, gets to be exposed to some of that talent that, you know, we've been harnessing for quite some time. I respect music so much and I aspire to make the best, product, best possible product I can that I think it just falls hand in hand with um, I put out good work. Um, it just brings in more clients and good people and positive people. So that's a good thing I like about it.